Flux is the fastest evolving cloud-based EDA tool built with an AI-first vision. This means that you get powerful new features fast, like Copilot Auto Layout, Copilot Chat, and collaborative PCB design right in your browser. But this also means that sometimes things just don't work out the way you expect. In this video, I'll walk you through the troubleshooting tips to help you unblock yourself. Here's what we'll cover. Overlapping copper DRCs, multiple fills on the layer DRC, floating copper DRCs, missing ground fills, parts not showing up in your library, Altium projects importing empty, auto layout getting stuck, KiCad libraries missing footprints and models, and finally, how to find help for new problems. Let's get into it. This error shows up when two copper elements, like traces, pads, fills, or vias, physically overlap, but don't belong to the same net. It can lead to unintended shorts or confusing electrical behavior. How to fix it? Go to the review tab and look at the DRC that says overlapping copper. Click on the object link in the error message to jump to it on the canvas. Enable all layers. Sometimes the overlap is coming from a hidden one. Move or delete the offending copper so that nets stay isolated. Overlapping copper usually happens after copying and pasting modules or dragging components around too quickly. Multiple fills on a layer. Flux automatically creates ground fills on each layer, but if another net tries to claim that same layer, for example, through a connected layers rule, you'll get a multiple fills conflict. This typically happens when you've imported a module that has its own stack up that differs from the project that it's placed in, or you accidentally applied a connected layer rule to the wrong net. How to fix it? Go to the DRC and check which layer and nets are in conflict. Update the connected layers rule so that only one net owns this layer. If the issue came from a module, adjust the module stack up to match your own project. This keeps your layer assignments clean and avoids messy copper behavior during fills. Floating copper means a piece of copper, usually a trace or small fill, isn't connected to anything. It's electrically isolated from the rest of its net. Unconnected copper can create manufacturing issues or false nets in simulations. How to fix it? Lock all components to avoid moving things by accident. Go to the Review tab, click on the floating copper item in the DRC, and if it's a trace, either reconnect it or delete it. If it's a fill, add a manual stitching via to tie it back to the net. This one's especially common when parts are moved or rotated without cleaning up the traces. You've added ground fills, but nothing's showing up. The common causes are the fill exists, but it's on a different layer, or the layers aren't showing. You're using a net called ground one or ground analog instead of just ground, or the connected layers rules wasn't applied to the ground net. Toggle the layers using the layer dropdown and see if the fills appear. Go to the object tree and find your ground net and expand the fills child. Confirm that the connected layer rule indicates that all layers that you want are connected. Once everything is correctly set, Flux will reflow the fill automatically. You've made a custom part, but it's not showing up when you search. This often happens because it hasn't been published properly. To publish, you click publish on your part. Choose whether you want to publish it to your own library or the public one, and then double check permissions if you're collaborating. Sharing and publishing are different. Publishing puts it in a library. Sharing just controls visibility. Until it's published, the part won't be available in your search or other projects. You imported an Altium project and the schematic view is totally empty. Most likely, this file wasn't exported in ASCII format from Altium. Open your schematic doc file in a plain text editor, and if the header in that file says ASCII, you're good. If it's unreadable, then go back to Altium and export it again as ASCII. Then re-import it into Flux and everything should appear correctly. You ran out of layout and now it's stuck in optimizing forever. What to check? Go to the DRCs and make sure that there are still air wires or unrouted connection in your design. Check for the DRC violations that could block routing and open the system check DRC to see what's causing the delay. These are specifically related to auto layout. If nothing works, hit stop to pause the auto layout and make manual fixes. Then try again. You imported a KiCad part, but the 3D model or footprint didn't come through. KiCad files sometimes reference assets stored locally on your machine, so you'll need to manually relink them in Flux. How to fix it. Open the component in the Inspect tab, scroll to the asset container. Upload the missing model or footprint. In PCB view, select the model and footprint in the object tree. Add the asset layout rules and apply the files to their respective objects. Once everything's assigned, your part will work as expected. 
Most important tip, you're not alone. If something isn't working, check the Flux documentation, browse our YouTube channel, use the in-app chat bubble to reach support, or file a ticket with details, screenshots, and steps to reproduce. We ship fast, so your feedback directly influences what we fix next. So give these tips a try if you encounter them and share your feedback. Help us keep building the most powerful EDA tool on the planet. Thanks for watching and keep designing.